My friends, it is the 22nd of August 2022 and I'm here in Neuhausen in Switzerland with behind me the Rhine Falls. Tonight I'm gonna catch a night train from Zurich to Prague in Czech Republic. And it's a unique service because this whole train consists of just one sleeper car. Thank you so much for joining in today and let's begin our trip. The Rhine Falls is the most powerful waterfall in Europe and a must visit whenever you are in Switzerland. Being just under an hour away from Zurich by train, it's a perfect day trip to do. Most people would take the direct S9 or S12 train when heading back to Zurich main station, but I prefer to travel to Schaffhausen and from there take the direct intercity train back to the Swiss capital. Arrived at Zurich and let's head to the supermarket to stock up on some supplies. Whenever you need to stock up on supplies in Zurich Hauptbahnhof, you either go to the Migros or Coop. In my experience, Migros is a little bit cheaper than Coop, and Migros is definitely the bigger one at the station. If you fancy a simple dinner, but you don't want to go to McDonald's, Burger King, or KFC, Spiga is a nice place to get a decent pasta or pizza. Our train tonight for Prague is kind of a rarity nowadays in Europe. We will be riding on board a so-called destination coach. More on that later in the video. It will depart at 21.40 from platform 9. And you can see it's a combined train with multiple destinations. The rear coach goes to Prague. That's the one we're going to take for tonight. And yes, it is just one coach that goes to the Czech Republic. Four coaches are bound for Budapest. We have another five going to Vienna. Two Swiss locomotives will be pulling us till the border at Books. It's time for boarding. I've booked myself solo occupancy in a deluxe sleeper cabin. Deluxe meaning that you will have a private toilet and shower. On your bed you can fill out the breakfast form right away. There's no English but I can get along with German. Or just ask your steward for translation. We depart exactly on time and the journey time to Prague will be 13 hours and 17 minutes. Let's have a look at our cabin. If you've traveled on a night jet before, you might think this looks oddly the same, and you are right. This is the same type of sleeper car built by Siemens, which the night jets also use on their routes. But yeah, let's begin our room tour. After closing the door, you can lock your room with two different locks. There's a power socket below the bed, the other one being in the bathroom. Your bed is already made up for the night when you board the train in the evening. Next to the window, you can find a fallaway seat, which I used as a table during my trip. Up on the ceiling and against the wall you'll find various reading lights. The room can be booked for up to 3 people, but if you go for solo, the other two beds are folded away against the wall. Under your bed are 3 seats folded away for daytime use. Above the door you can find the control panel for the lights, intercom volume and climate control. There's also plenty of storage space here and some clothes hangers for your fashionable outfits you're gonna wear tomorrow. Here you'll find your very own private bathroom. A towel and some toiletries are provided. The toilet is on the right and the mini shower is on your left. There is no separate water outlet for the wash basin, so you can use the shower head point. By the way, I forgot to mention the fancy key card you get to access your room from the outside. And there's also a window blind for privacy. Now back to the bathroom. In order to shower, you move the wash basin away and you put the metal bar down so you won't fall out in case of a sudden movement of the train. Temperature of the water can be controlled. Now let's try out and see how the water pressure is. Well, quite impressive, right? Oh, it was nicely hot too. The room comes with a few amenities and I'd like to show you to them. Uh, first of all, a bottle of water. 
toothbrush with toothpaste, a soap bar, body wash for the shower, slippers, and a, a decent size towel. For passengers who book the regular sleeper, they can use the communal shower at the end of the car. You can only access it with your keycard. Here I tested the temperature and water pressure too. And I'm glad to see that everything was fine here as well. I just don't know if they provide you a towel. On a night jet, they just give you a small hand cloth. After a nice and hot shower, I checked the onboard menu. It looked quite extensive, but I didn't try anything because I already had dinner. We were almost arrived in Buchs, the Swiss border with Liechtenstein in Austria, where a locomotive change will take place. Now let's explain what the destination coach is. The Zurich to Prague night train is a destination coach service operated by Czeski Drahe, Czech National Railway. They attach a single car to different trains throughout the journey in order to reach low demand destinations that won't justify a train with full length. With this, passengers can enjoy a direct trip without transfers. On this particular service, the Czech sleeper car will be attached to the night jet to Vienna till Salzburg. From there, it takes along the Kalman Imre Euronight to Budapest till Linz. From Linz, it will be coupled together with the daytime Eurocity Yisni Express train to Prague. It might not be the most efficient way, but that's less of an issue on night trains. And now it is time to sleep. Good night, everyone. Wee. A very good morning from the Czech Republic countryside. How was the night? Well, it was actually quite a decent one. Slept very well. Woke up one time very roughly from a sleep though, when they were shunting like crazy at Linz Hauptbahnhof. But other than that, it was a perfectly fine night. Time for some breakfast. The box comes with two bread rolls, butter, waffle biscuit, apple juice, and a cup of tea. We're now attached to the Eurocity 330 Yisni Express traveling to Prague via Czeske Bodejovice. It's a rainy but relaxing morning. During the night I woke up at Linz to see the Budapest train leaving us behind and we were waiting to be attached to this train. Since we are almost in Prague, let's talk about the ticket fare and recap the journey. For this trip I used my interrail pass. The reservation for the deluxe sleeper cabin for solo occupancy was 158 Swiss francs, which is pretty steep, but given the fact that you can stay on board on the train to travel this far is quite impressive. The Czech sleeper car is pretty decent with a good and comfortable bed and shower. All in all, I think this justifies the expensive price, but just because Czeske Drei can deliver such a decent product. We have arrived in Praha Havin Nadaraji, Prague Central Station. You can see that the composition of a train changed completely overnight. I do wonder if any of the other passengers are aware of this unique form of train service. And that was the night train from Zurich to Prague. Thank you so much for joining in today. Take care guys and we'll see each other in the next video.